I'm heading out to this little DIY spot right now. Sick little spot, kind of tucked away, hidden in plain sight. Um, shouts out to Kobe for inviting me in on this one. I got this parking curb in the back. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I gained this six foot long parking curb. I believe we're gonna place it on some cinder blocks, make a raised curb. So that is the plan for today. So yeah, on my way, it's very sunny as you can see, and uh, I'll be there quite shortly. We out here in the neighborhood. Shouts out to my boy. <laughs> Check out this quarter pipe. So fucking sick. Straight over the drain there. Um, yeah, like this spot is like has so much potential as you can see Quarters really fun um, Kobe frontside aired it last time I was here cool little cinder block ledge and then we're thinking raised curb right here So we're probably gonna get that done today Yeah, I got a t-shirt just so the glue will bond a bit better That should work for the most part I think Oh, look at that. That's almost like fucking perfect, huh? There might be like overhang on each end. Like it might hang out a little bit on the fr front and back, but I don't think it should be a problem. And this thing's so heavy anyway, like once the glue goes in, it's just gonna like sit. And the edges should line up, huh? Like. Yeah, that's almost like super flush, dude. Look at that. Forgetting about the angles and shit. I'm gonna put on extra just in case. But I've had I've had these for like a little while, and I mean, they probably sit at Home Depot for so long anyway. Yeah. The ones I had were like in my garage for like years. Ah, uh, okay. Do you think this thing can be skated today? Shit, I don't know. Usually I'll let it sit like 24 hours. That's for like mainly the liquid nails or the... Yeah, just so everything kind of sets. What about like with rub breaking clear coat and wax? Oh, is that, that pretty fast? That can be done like pretty much like almost instantly. Oh. It's just the glue. You got anything cool to put inside the cinder block so we know something's in there? Reckon we should? Yeah. Like rocks or something? Oh, my hand's gonna get stuck. Oh. <coughs> oh. oh, fuck me. At the last DIY, we would build like a uh, he would dump trash there, and there was like a little like trophy from like little kids' baseball season that we put in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty tight. Oh, and then someone broke it, and that trophy's like still there to this day, like on the ground somewhere. Damn, looks about right, I think. Go on. Liquid nails are like pretty like secure though because this ledge did it real bad. Yeah. Like you see how big of a gap this side has? Oh, uh, okay. But that one's solid. Pretty sure like... Because usually I'll just do like a couple like an eight, like a line and then just slap it down and it can press. But most of this stuff already looks like it's going to compress. Is there still a lot of liquid nails left in the bottles? Uh, there's a decent amount. A little bit messy, but I can cut it back with a t-shirt. What color should we make it? Huh? What color do you think we should make it? Dude, up to you. 
Should we have a whole theme for this whole area? Red, blue, oh, blue is handicapped, but. Um, fucking green, I've seen some green cubs. You know it would be sick? Mm -hmm. Like, you paint this green, paint this like a lighter green, and then come back with some like fucking paintbrushes, and like just fucking brush some like little plants and shit, like little weeds and flowers. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, I always want to make something where like the, the surrounding is painted, that way the obstacle looks like it's part of like a, a bigger image. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's gonna be your first trick on it? Dude, blunt, a blunt would be sick. A back blunt. That's easier than front blunt for you? Yeah. Especially on something like this because it's like angled off. Yeah. So you have that safety kind of feeling. What's your first trick? I got like worst side. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, front side or back side? Back side. First try? Oh. Yeah. Alright, you heard it here first. <laughs> you know what's cool about these raised like parking curbs? You can kind of like slap your board slide onto them. You don't have to pop that hard. Here it is. You just gotta let it settle, let it dry. And it should be uh, pretty solid. Whoa, circus tricks going on. <laughs> Hillside, toe side. Cross luck. <laughs> that was kind of sick. We back out here. It's come out super, super nice. The green really matches the area. Have you hit it yet? No. I dropped my wax last time I was here over there. Oh, and, shit. Uh, yesterday I came, it was still there. Still <laughs> It's turned out really solid, dude. Woo! That was it, dude. Yo, that was almost it. Right here. That was perfect. That's so sick. Raised curb is a success. Yeah. Ooh. 
So we got the raised curb in, there's a ledge, quarter pipe with the drain gap. What else should be built here? Kirby was thinking like a roller with a pole jam coming out of it on this side. I think a pole jam in general would be really cool as well. Maybe some transition down the end here. So like you can like go to this wall here and turn around or this one or even make that like a mini. Fucking easy as pie. See, we made it. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm.